Well, hello there. It's Angry Baby from Awkward Conversations here at BentCon. And I am joined by Karina and Galley of Red String Press, right? And Red String, uh, Productions. Red String Productions. Yes. Okay. And um, they have written more books than anybody else I know <laughs> on the planet. Um, all of the books you're looking at are written by these two ladies. And uh, why don't you tell us about some of your projects? All right. Uh, why don't we start with our bestseller, which was written by my lovely wife. Hi. She's a gay vampire book. Why don't you tell a little about it? Yes, um, it's about a high school student that gets kind of stuck in a vampire feud and he ends up falling around a vampire that's not very good at being a vampire. <laughs> you know, he doesn't have the super strength or the super speed, but he can grow one of his fingernails out to about here. He can't retract it, so you know he has to bite it off, but he can do it again. Give him a week. <laughs> Tops. So he's bad at being a vampire. He's very bad at being a vampire. Okay. <laughs> so do, do you guys relate to any characters here? Are well, you guys well, also actually, bad at being vampires? Or? <laughs> we're currently cosplaying two of the characters. Yeah, yeah the ones on the back. Um, we would actually be very good at being vampires. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, we, we just found out something about you two, huh? Oh, yeah. We can hide the bodies. <laughs> I think I've still got a few teeth marks somewhere. Yeah. Oh, all really? right. She's kind of biting. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> um, so, and uh, and and is this what number of book is this for you, personally, to have oh, written? Oh gosh, I um, want to say eleven. Probably eleven. This is my eleventh book that I've written. So eighty-four books, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and what uh, what have you written recently? Um, recently, uh, I wrote. I finished. Shield, which is not related to the Avengers. Agents of. No, okay. nothing like that. Um, it's actually a pun on a detective's badge, things like that. Um, essentially, 1930s Manhattan detectives, drag queens, Prohibition era. Wow. Uh, yeah. I love the Prohibition era. Underground jazz clubs, things like that. That's so cool. Yeah, so it's a bit of a historical fiction. So, alcohol and vampires? Or no vampires? No in vampires. Shield. In okay, no one. vampires. No, not that one. <laughs> okay, so we have pro prohibited alcohol and vampires. We have. We are okay. very strict this time. All right, I got you. We'll need a constitutional amendment. Yes, sir. And uh, and what is the. There, you have a third book that you want to talk about this today. This is our most recent title, also written by my lovely wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it is about an emperor that's falling in love with his patron god, and in another country, someone is actually stealing the god's power. So, it's a little bit about that, trying to figure out what's going on, and there are also lesbian assassins, which seems to sell it very quickly. <laughs> lesbian assassins. Yes. I'm assuming those are lesbians who assassinate people, yes. not assassins of lesbians. You never know. They might assassinate lesbians. <laughs> they, 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 they don't, don't discriminate. Them. They know the culture, you know. They, I mean, they, they definitely do not discriminate against assassinating other lesbians. So undercover you know. on a whole new level. So, yeah. <laughs> um, undercover under the covers. I like that. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> you can use that title as the Thank next you. book. All right. Yeah, you will. Probably we'll steal it. <laughs> so, um, on awkward conversations, we often ask our guests what the most awkward uh, uh, thing that has ever happened to them is. I have one. Okay. Uh, last year, I was a teacher in Japan. Nice. And uh, during one conversation with a group of kindergarten teachers and some kindergarten children, um, they told me something about the local star festival. And my Japanese is very bad. And instead of omoshiroi, which means, oh, that's very interesting, <laughs> I said omorashi, which is a word for uh, a kink where you pee on yourself. Oh. So I'm just sitting there in the room of kindergarten teachers and little tiny children, and I go, ah, omorashi, which is like, I pee on myself for fun. Ah. And everyone just stares at me like. And just because you do, you weren't supposed to tell them <laughs> that, is what you're saying. I just got like, they almost, you know, they say, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what about you? Uh, well, fortunately, I didn't tell anyone that I peed on myself. <laughs> okay. Um, but we do a lot of conventions, and unfortunately, I am well known on Tumblr. And at one convention, a girl comes up to our table and asks us what our Tumblr URLs were. I told her, and she turned ghost white, her eyes got incredibly wide, and she looked straight at me and said, you're so much nicer in person. Oh no! <laughs> uh, to which I just sort of was confused. <laughs> it would have been so awesome if you had been like, actually, I can be just as mean in person. Oh, I definitely can. <laughs> and um, then punched her. But at the time, <laughs> at the time it was very awkward uh, because 
a couple of months later, she actually found me at another convention and stood at the table awkwardly staring at me for about half an hour. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll do that at the next convention I see you at. God, I hope so. <laughs> how exciting. I hope so. I can't wait. Well, it was really nice to meet you guys. Thank and you so how can people you. find more information? Redstringproductions.org. We have all of our books available in soft cover and ebook format. Awesome. And a link to pages about us. Okay, redstringproductions.org. Redstringproductions.org. All right, well, great. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Initiating a conversation in three, two, one.